How you doing guys and gals? This is Doug Wilson from Yellowhawk Custom Kydex. Um, <clears throat> I just got a package in the mail the other day from Peter Kohler. Um, now we all know he's been injured. These, these blades were forged and built before he got hurt for uh, three of our clients. Okay? And just want to show them to you plus the sheaths that I've designed and built for them okay <laughs> now this sheath configuration is the basic configuration that we supply standard on the Grizzly Hawk system um, as well as the Timberhawk system as well as the uh, I'm drawing a blank on this one I'll remember. I'll remember what he calls this knife. I, brain farts. I'm, I'm a human being. What can I say? I forget shit. All right. So here's the first one. It's a tactical style. Um, it's got a, a slight recurve on the blade, 90 degree spine. This is also a bushcrafter as well as a tactical fighter, as a, a utility chopper. This thing, jack of all trades. Beautiful knife. Uh, Black canvas micarta scales, which is one of my favorites for tactical use, for, you know, spook shit, all right? So, there it is. You see his signature hammer dimples that a lot of people try to copy, all right? There's the blade. This one is a blued blade. He does a cold gluing technique. And it, the reason he does the cold gluing is because it's easier to touch up than other systems okay it's fairly durable but the, the main reason he uses it is because it's easy to touch up when when it does wear off okay it's pretty tough though um, so here's the sheath okay this is Cryptek Typhon matching paracord wrap I have also included those strikers that I like okay I'm going to start including strikers with a lot of my systems, especially if you remind me, I'll throw one in. Okay, I got quite a few of them here. Um, side mount ferro rod and a liquid filled compass on the uh, ferro rod retention system. Okay, and I got my little zipper pull flugel binder thing that's very convenient as well. Okay, uh, this client wanted an optional tech lock with this one. Okay. And if you're going to order one of Pete Kohler and, and my uh, systems, you know, with my sheath, his knife, I suggest, because of the, the size of most of his knives, I suggest a tech lock option, okay? They are 16 bucks extra, but it's a, it's a more substantial clip than my, uh, sorry, that one doesn't have one on it yet, than my slide lock, okay? Which is a nice clip. Tech locks are better. Okay. Slide locks a nice clip. Tech locks are better. Okay. That's all I'm saying. All right. So here's the system. All right. There it is. Got that signature click. All right. No rattle. Okay. I think it came out real nice. All right. There's the first one. Here's the second one, all right. Um, now this this one's got some scratches on the blade. The client has already used this knife on a couple of trips. All right, there's that one. Beautiful blades. This one has slighter, slightly heavier retention. All right, slightly heavier because it's a. This is a beefier knife. It's a little longer than the other two. So I put a little bit better retention on it. Alright. So it's... That puppy's in there to stay. Okay. Alright. Liquid fill compass. These new compasses that I'm using for the ferro rod configuration. Um, these are the toughest I've found yet. For this type of... Uh, you know quick compass I call them you know these are quick you know uh, sh direction finding compasses these actually do have uh, 
360 degree marking on the bezel okay these these actually do have a bezel on them that actually turns and you can shoot azimuths all right use them with a map that kind of thing that's what i like about these little compasses you usually don't find that on these little button compasses this one's a little more a little bit a little bit more quality okay so there it is liquid filled oil filled all right here's the third blade this is california buckeye the handle scale stabilized all right there's the next one okay okay so <laughs> there's the peak Kohler group for this week all right show you those two one more for this guy all right 45 degree I tell you with these knives you really need that 45 degree the straight up and down the vertical not gonna cut it with a knife like this smaller knife you can get away with it you need that canted uh, clip it just it is what it is these knives are pretty handle heavy so they droop when you put that when you put them in a horizontal configuration on your belt so when you put it on if that clip were straight up and down this handle would droop like that you'd be you'd be craning your your wrist to get around that thing for good purchase I can't them at as, as tight an angle as I can get close to a 45 so that the clip is straight and the handles up in the air a little bit okay so it's very ergonomic all right very ergonomic okay all right, so there are the Pete, Pete Kohler and Doug Wilson offerings, okay? You can see how much longer this, this other knife is than the other two, all right? I'll put, them, I'll put the sheath ends, all right? See how much longer that knife is, okay? So, and it's heavier, so i give it a little better retention, you know, a little, little tighter, all right? Okay, here. You guys ever seen one of these? Uh, when I was in the Army, uh, we trained with uh, a group of British SAS soldiers, and I had the fortunate occurrence to meet Mel Perry. Okay, he's the designer of this blade from the 22nd Special Air Service Regiment. Okay, British SAS. Okay, basically, the British SAS are like U.S. Army Special Forces over in Britain. Okay, tough bunch of guys. Okay, so anyway, he designed this blade in the 90s, early to mid 90s. Um, and I'm gonna do a review on this thing. I'm just gonna give you this is like a little teaser, all right, just showing you the blade. Um, and I'm gonna show all you know all these different features on this blade and what they do in the review, okay. So just keep an eye on my channel. I don't know when I'm going to get a chance to do it. Yeah, this is a hammer. All right, you can use it as a hammer. All right, this is a, a, a an extremely utilitarian blade. It's got a lot of different features for a lot of different uses. It's a fighter. It's a chopper. You know, it's a skinner. It's a, a, a rope cutter. It's this, it's that. Very utilitarian blade and designed to be that way. All right got the uh, scallop serrations on the top here for cutting rope and whatnot all right so just wanted to show you that all right here's the sheath all right for this blade there's the sheath for this blade right there all right not what I would call quality but that's the reason why the client sent me the knife he wants a new sheath made for it and he's promising that it's going to be, you know, my baddest ass sheath to date. Because he's designing it. All right. So, um, and I've had the knife now for probably six months. He, the, the client, his name is uh, Brown. His last name is Brown. 
trying to remember his first name. Norman. Norman Brown. Um, this blade took uh, an extremely bad toll on his one of his hands. It, and I'm pretty sure it was this blade he told me that did it. Sliced his hand completely up. Needed surgery. Lost like half a finger to it. Um, and he kind of blamed it on the sheath. So, uh, we're going to work together to design a badass sheath system for this blade and uh, see if we can't help him out. All right. All right. So, I just wanted to get these on film. Pete really likes the way these sheaths came out. So do I. I think they look great. Pete calls them uh, gunslinger sheaths. He likes that gunslinger style, you know, that sleek designs and whatnot, whatever. Um, okay, so that's it. This is Doug Wilson for Yellow Hawk Custom Kydex. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. I wanted to mention one more thing. When it comes to buying knives, okay, I read these posts in Meeting of Prepared Minds and, uh, and other forums where guys are bashing each other because, their choices, because of their choices of knives, okay? There are a plethora of reasons why myself or anyone else would buy a particular knife from a particular company. A lot of times it has to do with price, okay? My particular position on knives, if I go to buy a knife, unless it's for a specific purpose and I need an extreme high quality blade because I'm doing this or that with it, or I'm reviewing it, or whatever, okay? Price is a consideration, okay? There are companies out there that charge, you know, a lot of money for their blades. There are companies that do not, okay? Some of those companies that do not charge a lot for their blades, it doesn't mean they're cheap knives. It depends on the company, okay? Um, so I just wanted to, 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 you know, throw that out in this video that there are a lot of different reasons why guys would pick a particular knife company or a particular knife to buy, okay? They got their own reasons, just like you do, all right? So no fair bashing people or companies because of the type of knife they're making or because you don't think it's this or you don't think it's that. Your opinion really doesn't matter to that company, to be honest with you. What usually matters to these companies is customer satisfaction, I would hope, okay? So, you know, I use CFK as an example. They've got a high degree of customer satisfaction. It's plain and simple. I don't care where their knives are made, how much they are, whether you think they're lying or not, it doesn't matter. Their customer satisfaction is up there, okay? So I just wanted to throw that out. There's a lot of companies out there who you may not agree with, but that doesn't really give you a license to go in and bash them on forums and whatnot. That's just, that's not fair. These guys are making a living just like you are, okay? And, you know, some of these companies cater to the working guy, the guy that works hard for his money, who really doesn't have the, the cash to lay out for a $400 knife or, you know, a $150 sheath or whatever, okay? And I understand that. I try to work with people when it comes to my sheaths, okay? But to bash a company just because you're jealous or you don't understand their business practices or uh, whatever, okay? That, that's not fair, you know? Live and let live. Let guys buy knives that they want to buy, all right? Without, now, if there's something definitely wrong with a blade, sure, you gotta, you gotta let it be known. But companies like CFK, especially CFK, I, I've reviewed several of their knives. I find no fault with any of their blades that they've sent me, that I've put sheaths on, okay? They're well-built knives, and you know, I don't care if they're made in Timbuktu. They are well-built knives. And they're not expensive. Fact. All right, Doug Wilson, Yellow Hawk Custom Kydex. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.